Have you ever tried to upload or email a photo and only get hit with that dreaded file too large message? Whether you're running out of storage space, struggling to share images, or just want your photo collection to take up less room on your device, reducing file size without losing quality is the solution. In this video, I'll show you the simplest ways to compress your photos while keeping them looking great using free online tools, apps, and software. And stick around until the end because I've got a bonus tip that will help you speed up this process if you have hundreds or even thousands of photos to resize. But before you start compressing everything, there's also a really important watch out that I'll share because while smaller files are great, there are a few things to keep in mind. Why reduce photo size? Before we get into the how, let's quickly cover the why. Large photo files can take up a huge amount of storage on your phone, computer, and cloud accounts. They can also be slow to send via email or upload to websites. Most modern cameras and smartphones save photos in high resolution formats which is great for professional printing, but often unnecessary for everyday sharing and storage. The goal is to keep the photo looking the same to the eye while making the file size much smaller. Option one, use online compression tools for quick resizing. The easiest way to shrink your photo file size without losing noticeable quality is to use free online tools. These are great if you just have a few photos to compress and don't want to install extra software. One of my favorite options is TinyPNG. Despite the name, it works on both PNG and JPEG files, and it's super easy to use. To compress a photo using TinyPNG, go to their website and drag and drop your image into the upload box. The tool automatically reduces the file size while keeping the image looking almost identical. Once it's done, you can download the compressed version and compare it to the original. The quality difference is barely noticeable, but the file size can be reduced by up to 70%. Another great online tool is I Love IMG, which works similarly, but also lets you compress multiple photos at once, making it more efficient if you have a batch to process. Simply upload your images, select compress, and download the smaller files. These online tools are perfect if you need a quick fix, but what if you need more control over how much compression is applied? Option two, resize your photos on your phone using free apps. If you're looking for an easy way to reduce file size directly on your phone, there are some great free apps available for both iOS and Android. For iPhone users, use Photo Compressor and Resize. It's a simple app that lets you shrink file sizes while keeping the original resolution. Open the app, select the photo you want to resize, and choose your desired compression level. The app will show you a preview so you can see the difference before saving the smaller file. For Android users, Photo and Picture Resizer is a great alternative. After installing the app, open it and select your image. You'll see options to reduce the resolution, adjust the quality, or set a specific file size target. Choose your preferred settings and the app will create a compressed version of your photo while keeping the original safe. Using apps like these is especially useful if you're a frequent sharer of photos from your phone and need a quick way to reduce file sizes without opening your laptop. Now, if you're going through this process and realizing that your photo collection is a little bit of a mess, scattered across devices, filled with duplicates, or just getting out of hand, then you might want to check out my Photo Mess Success courses. They are designed to help you get every photo into one place, declutter your library and build a system that actually works so you are not just reducing file size, but also making your photos easier to manage. If that sounds like something you need, you can check it out at photomesssuccess.co.uk, where I'll help you move from photo mess to mastery one step at a time. But for now, let's get back to reducing those file sizes. Option three, resize and compress photos using free software. If you want more control over your compression settings, or you have a lot of photos to resize at once, using free software on your computer is the best option. For Windows users, one of the simplest ways to reduce your photo file size is using Paint. Yes, good old Microsoft Paint. Open the photo in Paint, click Resize, and select a smaller percentage for both width and height. 
Make sure the link is grey to prevent distortion. Once resized, go to File, Save As, choose JPEG and adjust the quality slider if needed. If you want more editing control, GIMP is a great free alternative to Photoshop. Open your image in GIMP and go to File and Export As and choose JPEG. And adjust the quality slider. A setting of around 75 to 85% keeps an excellent quality while reducing the file size significantly. For Mac users, you can do this straight from preview. Open the image, click Tools and adjust size and reduce the resolution to about 120 pixels on the longest side. Then go to File and Export, select JPEG and adjust the quality slider to reduce the file size while keeping a good level of detail. These methods give you more control compared to online tools, especially if you need to tweak settings for professional or printing needs. Bonus tip, batch process multiple photos. If you have hundreds, even thousands of photos to resize, doing them one by one is gonna take forever. This is where batch processing comes in. Instead of resizing each image manually, you can use XN Convert, which is free for Mac and Windows, or Farstone Photo Resizer to resize hundreds of photos at once. In XN Convert, open the program and drag all the photos you want to resize. Click Actions, Transform, and Resize. Set your preferred size, and then go to the Output tab to choose your destination folder. Then click Convert and let the software do the work. This trick is perfect if you're dealing with a large archive of photos and want to save space without losing quality. Using Batch Process will save you hours of work, especially if you regularly share or store photos online. The Watch Out. Compression reduces detail. Before you go shrinking every photo in your collection, here's something to keep in mind. When you reduce the file size of a photo, you're also removing the image data, which can sometimes lead to loss of fine detail, reduced sharpness and colour degradation. If you plan to print a photo or edit it in the future, keep a high resolution version saved somewhere safe before you compress it. Compression is great for sharing and storage, but always keep an original just in case you want to edit it again. And that's how you can reduce the file size of your photos without losing too much quality. If you're confused about all the photo file types out there, then check out this little video next for the lowdown. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more photo organizing tips. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.